Hello bubble gummies and welcome to another edition of a making a live bubble gum monster. Um, we'll be with you very shortly. We're just sorting out our technical Sorry. side. This is a public announcement. This is a public announcement. The bubble gummies have been voting. The bubble gummies have chosen. The live making a bubblegum monster tonight is Blora. Camera. Hello. Um, hello. Yeah, sorry, I was completely off uh, guard there. How is everyone? How was everyone's weekend? And um, if you've had a good weekend, that's brilliant. Uh, how was your weekend, Stuart? Hectic. Hectic, as always. Yeah, no, it's, this, this is, well, I was going to say this is the last weekend I'm working, but I'm not. I've still got another few more weekends, but it's nearly the end of it, so oh, it's yeah. all good. Yeah, mine's, mine's been similar to last week. It's been hectic as well, just so busy. Because uh, for those of you that don't know, we don't do YouTube full-time, which would be great, but we don't get enough money from it. So we have to work and do other boring things. And at the moment, both of us, for some reason, have loads of work. We don't do the same work either. It's different, no, isn't it? but we're at different jobs, yeah. Just totally packed full of stuff. So I haven't even had time to do the last finish of the last Bubblegum Monsters. From the last two weeks, I still haven't finished them. I'm really sorry about that for the guys that are waiting to have them on the road. And while, actually, while I'm talking about that, I might as well explain for people that have just joined us and don't know what Bubblegum Monster is. Bubblegum Monster, every Monday at this time, I will sculpt a Bubblegum Monster um, that is decided by you guys from the voting system that we have on our, um, what's it called? Community page. Community page. Yes, yeah. community Where team. we select, during the live stream, we select five um, different ideas suggestions yeah suggestions and through then the week you guys vote on what one you want to see sculpted for the following monday so during last week we had the voting and what was that we did we had um oh I, I can't remember all the five now off the top of my head i know there was a tripod from world of worlds um there was a dragon which i wanted to win uh, but we had uh, Ballora, which is Ballora from Ballora. sister location which actually didn't surprise me no because no. i think there was a lot of people that like fnaf still there is, and I'll tell you what did surprise me, that we had the previous week just under 6,000 votes, right. and I thought that wasn't going to be beaten again, and we've had 7.6 thousand, so wow. 7,600, over 7,600 votes, so thank you very much guys, thank yeah. you. And also, we're nearing 100,000, aren't we? I know, but I don't nearing. want to attempt it, I think All we right. could be stuck on 999,999 yeah. for the next month. Yeah. But yeah, it's getting there. We're really getting close. So anyway, yeah, so what's anyone got anything good to say? Yeah. Anyone having a good weekend? Um, uh, there's 58 people watching, they're 57. Um, and the conversation was racing by while we was, we was having our little waffle. Um, but we've got loads of new names in here. Long BR1, great. or Long Bree 1. Um, thank you very much, Rebecca. I, tonight, you're going to have your work cut out for you. Um, Boxman, L Ratio 3, Black Wolf, Tommy Gaming CZ, LPS Shadow Fox 27. Thanks for joining us again. Um, but loads of, loads of new names. So the guys who are used to our old format, where they can actually chat to us, so we normally have several minutes to yeah. answer a question, you might find tonight that's not likely to happen. Um, just because... 
the conversation's just just going through rapidly. Yeah, so, and we will do our yeah. best to answer the questions uh, as and when they come through. You guys make me happy every time you do a oh. live stream. Even Sombrero the Dog. Upset. You guys make me happy again. Keep up the great work. Thank you very Thank much. You. Oh, I did see Songs Bomb Jazzy flying through there as well. So hello, Songs Bomb Jazzy. Um, so what you're doing there? Yep. What I do is oh, I'll, in the room. I'll just um, go through. So. If you missed our last short video, we did Valentine's because it's Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day was. Um, so I hope everyone had a romantic evening there. I did. I was um, on my computer. Really? <laughs> Just modelling. <stuff. laughs> yeah, working. So yeah, it was really good fun for me. Um, but we also did a little uh, Valentine's thing, which I can't show, but I can show a still from it. And if you want to see that, that is a spring trap in the making. That's his head. Yeah. And it was just a little kind of um, short trick. I just realised, because I reversed this of the thumbnail we use. And if you look, the little message in the bottom right oh, is actually flipped. Reversed. But anyway, so you can watch that video. It's only about a minute long. Um, but we will be making more with spring trap, which will be coming soon. Also, um, don't forget to check out our shop. Um, if you are into your FNAF stuff, we're doing real FNAF. Um, last week we didn't have time. Where's the, the ones with the pictures on? Because we've got limited editions of those. Have they been removed? I think, wasn't it? Because they've, have they sold out? It may be, but they're there. They're, 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 they're not there. Maybe this is a cached version as well. Oh, okay. Maybe it could be. Yeah. We refresh it. Just up here. Uh, it shouldn't be a it shouldn't be a cached version. But Anyway, uh, so there you go. That's our shop, um, which should be a link... Below, if Stuart's done his job Yes, there is. Yep. So you can check out our real FNAF. And if you want to check out what our real FNAF is, is basically the F our FNAF characters in real life places, which I think a lot of people think that it's um, real costumes, but it's not. It's our FNAF in real locations rather than the other way around. Um, but anyway, there, that's, that's the shop. Let me go back to us. Um, and so today, yes, as you said earlier, Stuart, we are um, sculpting... Um, the uh, Ballora. Ballora, yes. So, yes. so we will we'll be getting, getting on with that now, I think. Is there anything else we need to cover before that? No, I don't think so. I think at the moment we're, we're all good. So this is a package called ZBrush, or ZBrush, whereby you can sculpt lots of different things on the computer. So I usually do a lot... Well, I do a lot of... Um, the, all the models in our films, actually, were sculpted using this. Um, but you, can, you know it's great because you can sculpt anything and there's a free version it's not called ZBrush but it's by the same people which is Pixel Logic is the name of the company and they do a free version which is called Sculptress which you can go on pixellogic.com have you put the details that's there? in there that's yeah. in there as well so if you have a look at our description underneath and you're interested in sculpting on the computer you can find that there um, I'm just trying to work out why I can't hide this hide mm, okay maybe I have to restart this because I had it open earlier so it's not frozen up for some reason uh, but yeah so check that out I'm just going to close this set brush down but this version down because for some reason it's not working and we'll try again uh, where is it and I'll get my whack on also if you're going to do some sculpting it helps to have one of these it doesn't need to be as big as this you can get smaller ones uh, a tablet so you can sculpt because it's always difficult to use a mouse right let's see if that works now the the T J K oh I missed his name now it's just it's gone uh, I tell, honestly it's trying to keep up with this tonight is going to be really hard but I'm sure he asked if you're working up with After Effects yep you use After Effects as well uh, for most of the films just to comp everything together so that we, when we're superimposing all the characters then we use After Effects a lot for that sort of stuff oh Shane Barrett's back in the room nice to see you again Shane. Uh, yo, it's Morgan YT. What app do you guys use? Well, it, it's this is uh, as Pete was explaining. This is ZBrush from Pixel Logic. This is a licensed version. It costs about eight hundred pounds. Um, I don't know what it currently is in dollars. So the old exchange rates now. Yeah, it's probably a bit. Uh, I don't know twelve hundred dollars or something. Yeah, it sounds, so it's not like cheap. That. But actually, well, actually, I don't know if they still do it. But I bought this back in two thousand and seven. I think it was, and they've given away since then every single version for free. Yeah. You don't have to pay for it, which I'm not yeah. saying that's going to stay. I mean, they're probably they're going to have to start charging at some point. But yeah, for the last basically ten years, I haven't had to pay for it. 
because it's not uncommon, is it? So, because certainly with a lot of the software we use is that they, you know, they charge you over a subscription or a relicensing fee, or oh, yeah. you know, some of them are yearly. It's, it's yeah, yeah. it's so ZBrush. Hats off to you guys. Um, Sombrero dog. If you're asking what happened to me, I got pretty common skin disease called prioritis. Yes, and it itches a lot. Right. Okie dokie. I uh, must have missed the previous thread of that for some reason. Rebecca's doing a fantastic job with the um, links as well. So if you guys watch out for Rebecca, our moderator. She often is quick with the links. I think she started off with the circle again. Yeah, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to model her, oh, her head again. I just I find the head's a really good sort of place to start because it's the most sort of detailed part of the body and also gives you a good idea of the rest of the proportions for everything else. Um, that being said, I don't think we're going to get very far today because Ballora, compared to especially the other FNAF characters, is actually quite complicated. She's not as simple. She's got a lot of sort of um, joints and yeah. panels on her, which can and will be a bit of a pain to model. So I'll probably just concentrate on her head for now and we're get on with the rest of it at some other point. Um, and tell you, the other thing I haven't got is a side... Again, I struggle with these side views of these characters. But let's see if I can find a side view of her. Because when you're modelling stuff, it's always good to have as many different views as you can find um, to, to get the sort of correct proportions. So let's try side view of Ballora. There we go. We've got some... I think that's actually just a... Puppet Product Productions. <laughs> <laughs> Puppet Productions says uh, who do you think's better Sonic or Mario uh, Sonic yeah it'd have to be Sonic for me. Yeah. in terms of just like, not as in the games I actually prefer Mario for the actual games I think they're better designed but for the look of um, the character I think definitely uh, definitely uh, Sonic ok I think this might be a good that's good yeah so I'm just looking for a side view if you, everyone's wondering what I'm doing and I can't so see any uh, monitors here I can't see yeah. what I'm doing we've got three, three, three monitors on the go yeah. um, well actually that's that's an important point isn't it because it, it, whatever you're doing you always have some form of reference to it to, to use isn't it yeah that's, it's always I mean even when you're doing your animations we normally reenact something yeah. so you can actually say oh that's how yeah. they move especially with animation because even though you, in your head you might think oh that's how that would how you'd move and do so and um, I don't know, like action, but when you actually see your, how your body works and the body mechanics are so different sometimes to what you actually imagined. Oh, I've got a cool name here. Look, Bronze Assassin, King Army of Potatoes. <laughs> That's a wicked name. Oh dear. Tommy Gaming, Gaming CZ. I'm playing Friday the Thirteenth the game and looking at the stream. Oh, wicked. Multitask. Um. we got um, this, this man dot and the videos I am French but I love the videos oh thank you I do, yeah how do we come across in French I mean does our humour carry across because someone actually said to me the other day he's American yeah and believe it or not our humour they don't get it no they don't no no not, no well I think some people some people do but I think we've definitely got that kind of English humour Okay, let's try and sort of oh, carve in her eyes a little bit. There's a question here about folding container. Uh, the TJKGA. One right. of your playlists is a girl getting hit by a container. Who is it and which of you guys were the mum? <laughs> well, I, I, I was the mum because we couldn't get we couldn't find a mum when we was, we was trying to film it. So I thought, oh, well, 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 I'll be the mum. Um, and it was my daughter. Um... She's now traumatised. Now traumatised, yeah. And permanently walks around with a, a, a an army hat on. Yeah. <laughs> Take her head. <laughs> uh, guys, please tell me uh, why I haven't got my withered friend. It's been over three months. Well, it was posted. That's all I can say is we sent it, we posted it, we done the job. And, we, and unfortunately, my printer is broken. So I can't print at the moment, which is frustrating us because we've got loads of characters we want to print up. Um, and all I can say, Logan Gaiman, is I'm very sorry. Um, you, you haven't got it. 
Um, it's it's gone, and I can't print up another one at the moment. So what we'd have to do is, I know there's plans for the 3D printing in the long run, and I will put you top of the list to get yours sent out to you. Uh, da, 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 da. Lewis Rankmore, clicker. Oh, click for the last one. Yeah. Um, okay. That, that's the first suggestion. What's that? Um, so you guys, what we ask you to do is just give us suggestions. And uh, Lewis Rankmore has suggested clicker from The Last of Us. That is right. Oh, isn't that's it? right. Yeah. yeah. And we did say yeah. we'd put it yeah. in if you mention it again. So let's have a quick clicker from The Last of Us. Uh, the Last of Us. So I'm just going to the side view here, trying to get the length of her nose right. Yeah. She's got quite a pointy nose. Right, let's put clicker in. Clicker. And that's from The Last of Us. There you go, Lewis. We have got your suggestion. That's the first one. Whoa, the string's speeding up again there. Um, so that's carving her mouth. Songs bomb jabby. J jazz, J jabby. 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 <laughs> um, I suggest an IPS. What's IPS? IPS. Okay. Um, yeah, you might have to. You might have to enlighten us on that. Um, Songs bomb jazzy. Oh. Um, I think you guys should make a FNAF sister location movie. That's Joshua was asking that. Uh, yeah, I think there's some ideas for that as well. We want to combine a few ideas together like we were for the sequel. Some of the better bits are from FNAF 2, 4 and 3. And then um, I think sister location sort of kind of sits on its own, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's quite specific um someone actually says are, are you going to be live when you hit 100,000 subscribers and are we going to do anything special we need to we we will be we will this be. really snuck up on us didn't it, it? did because last time we were sort of like at 65,000 and all of a sudden we were like at 100 and we're like yeah. oh we haven't even really thought about what we're going to do at all um just sort of more puffy cheeks I think yeah is what I'm trying to uh, Long Bree One, who would you hug, Foxy or Freddy? Uh, I think you're gonna die. Whichever one you hugged, I think it would not be a good idea. But I guess if I had a choice, or if I didn't have a choice, more to the point, I, it would have to be Freddy because Freddy's not as, like as, hasn't got as many bits on him that might stab you. <laughs> like, at least he's a little bit more rounded, isn't he? Um. I suggest LPS Jazzy, you know. They go, oh, oh, I see. All oh, right, okay. So uh, no, LPS Jazzy is another YouTuber which Songs Bomb J Jazzy follows, and yeah. Um, so yeah, it's not actually necessarily a character. Oh, I see. Um, right. Um, was uh, we 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 need we need more suggestions, guys. So let's get these suggestions. Also, just to mention it, we do play. A little game, don't we? About we start, oh, yeah. we start it at ten yeah. to seven, and it's the first correct entry of our family feuds, family fortunes type style contest, where we yeah. ask you guys a question, and the first person with the top answer will get their name appear on our banner. Now there is there is a queue building because we've had um, who who are the other ones? We've we've got the one at the moment, but we've got two more. We've got Kian to go up. We've got. Uh, Bowser, and we've got. Um, I can't remember the. Uh, the, uh, the oh, what's his name? Yeah, the Sonic one. Uh, the one that we didn't even know, we'd never heard of before, and everyone knows who it is apart from us. Yeah, oh, um, yes, yes. Gander. But I can't remember the names. Who, who are the ones at the moment? Oh, who won it? Yeah, know? who won it? So we'll have to, we'll have to, go back and refer. I know it was it was quite a close run Wasn't it battle. Song Bombs Jazzy won the last one. Was it? I don't know. Well, I can go back and we refer that. So, but we have got a back a backlog. Um, so, we, 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 but we'll still be running the co the um, not competition. Oh, if anyone wants, I'm just right. If, if anyone wants, why it's why it gone a little bit dark there is because I was just using this 
tool where you can see through and um, kind of trace, so you put something on your desktop like a picture and then the software you can sort of make it transparent so you can see through to your desktop so it might have gone a bit darker there because it won't show. Yeah, it does, it, it, yeah, yeah. it dims down. Yeah. Um, hey, do you support Bon Bon Lives Matter or Scott Cawthorn is cool? Who do you support? Uh, what is it? Who? Yes, songs bomb jazzy. I don't know. <laughs> songs bomb jazzy. Yes, she got drinking. That was the holiday question, wasn't it? What do you do on on holiday? Yeah. So that would be you going to Knuckles. Yeah. Um, one. So that's your. One. It's, it's the one before. I don't know. One before no, was, Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's not that. So we have. One. Yes. I mean, not that. No. Just a couple of weeks. Um. Uh, Slender Man. That has been suggested a couple of times. We have had it in the vote a couple of We've times. Done it. It was, Oh, and we've done it, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. I see, yeah, we did. We did do it. Um, so, yeah, go back and have a quick look. So, even I've lost track of what we've done and what we haven't done. Um, uh, would you make Fred Bear and Friends movie? Fred um, Bear and Friends movie? Um, what sort of. Fred Bear and Friends? Is that like a YouTube version of it? Like. Is I, don't, I, don't, I know. don't know. We'll have to research that. Well, I could do that now. Fred Bear and Friends. Oh, Annabelle Pastel. It's me, Heather Chandler. Okay, <laughs> so we're obviously using a different account. Um, right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start this tool, which is quite cool. Two D reckons we should do Markiplier as a as a character, which is um, yeah, it might be a bit tricky. Yeah. Ballora. Uh, Saving up, sorry. Yeah, okay, don't so forget to save. This is the tool, hopefully, it'll work where you can create these like panels, which is quite cool. So she's got this weird thing on her head, which is like a I don't know, it's kind of like a little just one of her heads, maybe a little bit big. Yeah. Oh, I'll have a look at that one. That, that's that's a good suggestion. Who, who suggested that? Craven Skate 05. Let's have a look. Yes, yes. In fact, I know notice that Craven Skate changed his profile to this character, and I think that is quite a good character. V from Vendetta. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that's the second suggestion that's going in the book. So let's do that now. Or in the book. Uh, or in the vote. V uh, from Vendetta. Nope, not spelled Vendetta right. There we go. So I thought I was about there. So I'm, not, I'm just like, like I usually do. I just rough things in. I don't. There's nothing here that's going to be like final. I just like to do stuff just to get the proportions kind of right. Yeah. Okay. Z twenty nine. When's the gallery? Great question. And it is actually sitting. Um, we we'll call it a shelf story. It is sitting there. It's ready to go. It's actually a. What do you call it? A homage. Homage to Foxy. Yep. So it was all Foxy oh, pictures, yeah. So if, if, and I did notice that on our comments, a lot of people, when we post up on our community page, with yeah. Freddie and friends out in London, oh, yeah. Foxy's never there. Because well, quite often he's taking the photo. So <laughs> that's why he's, he's not in the picture. But I'm sure that they will all take turns and he will appear in the picture at some point. Uh, but as a, as a result, I actually made a homage to Foxy from FNAF. So it's all it's the the gallery entries are all Foxy related, right? Which is um, so thick. But there was because talking to Peter and things are happening over the weekend and all the rest of it. What we're saying is is it was almost that we did want to preempt that video going out when we break a hundred thousand subscribers because you'd straight away you'd want to do another video. To celebrate the hundred thousand, and therefore it gets lost in the thing, and yeah, yeah. So, but it, it is there; it's there, ready, waiting to go. Um, right, let me try and remember where all this paneling and stuff is. Uh, da, 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 right, panel. panel Rockstar panel. Bonnie. Okay, let's have a look. That could be. A, we have done Bonnie though, haven't we? In various guises. I mean, we do. We done Rockstar Bonnie though. Who's Rockstar Bonnie? Is that Bonnie from FNAF? Bonnie. Yeah. 
yeah um yeah no it's 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 it's, it's rockstar yeah this is it's bunny from from fnaf okay. um but I, th- I think we have done uh what, what have we done we don't we, have we, did, done we do bunny? bunny i don't know we've done no we've done very twisted thread, bunny. twisted bunny that's yeah. it okay well, are you happy with that um do, yeah. there you go it's that one okay Okay, well that's a suggestion. So it's in in the vote. So, Rocky Star Bonnie from FNAF. And there we go. Oh, actually, yeah, I, I've just realised my. Two more suggestions. That's what we're down to. I think the Joker would be cool. You could do the Ulcrum City one or the Dark or the Dark Knight one. Um, but the Joker. What do you, what's your feelings on that? Yeah, the Joker would be cool. Yeah, okay. Is in the boat. Um, the the Joker. Joker. That's from Batman. So we, actually, we did do Batman, didn't we? A couple of weeks ago. And in fact, yeah. it's on the banner, isn't it? It's the, um, the one that was won by... I've forgotten his name now. Well, maybe not. Sorry, I'm just mumbling to myself. I'm just trying to do different things here. Um, extract. Let's try extract. That might work a bit better. Please make the ghost from Pac Man. <laughs> oh, right. that, yeah, that, that'd be quite cool. Okay, that's the final suggestion. Be quite cool as a um, yeah. 3D model. Wouldn't oh, we're actually talking about 3D model. So, yeah, we also, well, we don't at the moment because your printer's broken. Oh, yeah. We do it when you get your print fix print stuff as well. I don't know if you guys can see that because it's so small on the screen at the moment. But if I just uh, switch over, there you go. We do things like that. That was um, Chomper. Chomper. Yeah, and actually, there's Withered Freddy. There's Withered Freddy there. So we do print this stuff up as well. My Little Pony as well. Um, which one's that? Um, My Little Pony. Yeah, which one was that? Though? Uh, I can't remember what, I can't remember what it was. They, they, they all look quite similar to me. I know that might sound... Well, they're all just... Ponies, yeah. but... <laughs> they, all, they all look the same. Um... Sinkum, oh Nemo, Shrek, Lightning, McQueen, yeah, we've got our five. We've got, I have got our five. So our five are Clicker from the Last of Us, V from Vendetta, Rockstar Bonnie from FNAF, of course, the Joker from Batman, the Ghost from Batman. So they are in the votes, and the vote will be open when we finish our live stream, and then we put it up in our community tab. If you don't know how to find our community tab, click on the I above us. And there's a link to our shop there, and there's a link to our community tab there. Cool. I don't want to tempt something. I know we've had seven thousand over seven thousand votes this time. Mm-hmm. Not sure how the voting's going to go the next time, but I think Rockstar Bond is going to win. Maybe. I think. I think so. I think that's the thing. It'd be nice if it was. I wish someone suggested a dragon this time as well, because I really want a dragon. I've been asking you to make me a dragon for I don't know how long. We've got um, Celeste's um, suggestion, wasn't it? Was a uh, Dutch dragon. Dutch dragon, yeah. Remix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah actually. It's uh, kind of got a dragon. It's kind of got a dragon. <laughs> actually, talk about that. Celeste says, I can tell the future too. Rockstar Bonnie will win. <laughs> um, Bubblegum Mod says, Can you do Ignited Spring Trap? Um, yeah, so, so, so at some point, we've got perhaps spring track, we got to finish spring track. Yeah. Um, what do you guys do with the characters after you make them? That's fun time. The twisted eyes. That's a good question. Yeah, it's it? a great question. So what we do is we pick a someone today will win this sculpt. Oh no! I think uh, I think um, this is a genuine question about what do we do with the characters after we make them. I don't get what you mean then. Oh, well, okay. Well, I, I'm taking that question as in once we've modelled these uh, characters and we sort of made about the 3D print and everything, but I thought you meant I was going to actually answer it saying, well, they actually become assets, don't they? Which we can actually use in. Oh, sometimes. Uh, not always, though. Oh, we haven't used. Are you talking about the FNAF the, stuff? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think if that was oh, okay. how the question was directed, just the way I read it. Yeah, so if it. Well, sometimes, yeah, they. Yeah, depending on how far. I get with them, and um, we usually then, if there's a FNAF stop, we can use it in films. Um, but a lot of times, it's just whoever wins it, then it goes on our banner. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. I yeah. understand what. Uh, the, yeah, answer the question. I'll tell you what has just walked into the room. 
Have they literally walked in? Literally walked into the room. Yeah, Dead Treks YT, um, who was a subscriber, I remember, who was quite. Um, it was always on our live vlogs when we used to do them. It's about a year ago. You've got a good memory. And um, so it's great to have you back, um, Dead Treks, um, with our live Making a Bubblegum Monster. Um, we've gained some viewers. We've got 44 watching. Um, Boxman, they don't do YouTube as a full-time job. Are you obviously answering a question to somebody else's? So thank you very much for backing us up there. Um, Mr. Lego, sorry, I need to go. Sorry, Mr. Lego, but oh, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, actually, just to sort of um, go back to the whole, we don't do YouTube, YouTube for a full-time job. It's not that we don't want to do YouTube no, for a no. full-time job, that would be awesome. But it's just unfortunately, uh, life and money gets in the way, so we have to um, we have to do other work to pay our way. But if YouTube paid us enough, then we would definitely do that. We would. Um, it's not necessarily YouTube, actually, who pay you. It's um, obviously there's you get the um, uh, advertising revenue, which is a, a, like a token amount. But obviously YouTube's the platform where you can attract sponsors and stuff. So it's not like YouTube go knocking on your door going, oh well, I'll pay you some money to do this. It's it's no, through it's advertising awesome. revenue. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Our videos have got to remain popular. They've got to remain hot, and then uh, YouTube reward us with advertising revenue. Um, Songs Bomb Jazzy, did you like the video I sent you? If it was the one oh, yeah, you yeah. sent last Monday saying thank you, um, and it, you must have done that literally as we was doing a stream because when we started the stream, we had 94,002 subscribers. When you did the video, it was 94,100 and something. Was that right? I can't remember. Um, so, it, it yes, you, and we did like that video, and it will feature on our gallery at some point. A little bit. Um, um, I'm in contact with Scott Cawthorn. I can ask him about the FNAF movie. This is Diamond the Dinosaur DDD. Well, that'd be great if you can um, point him in our direction and let him see what we've done, that'd be, see where, if he yeah, approves. That'd be, awesome. that'd be fantastic. Guys, you should do a Where's Waldo skit where Peter is Waldo and Stuart is Sherlock Holmes attempting to, to take the challenge of finding him. It's something we could do, Lewis. <laughs> um, we, 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 we have been talking sketches and things lately, haven't we, about some of the bits we can come up with. I think um, we, we, we've got an, a couple of ideas for an East, for one at Easter. Yeah. Um, we've also got a couple of ideas of a type mini-series. Um, so yeah, so there, there's lots of it, that, that's that's the thing we we could probably Monday evenings are the most time we actually spend together, isn't it? Yep. I think that's uh, we really don't get a lot of time to to hook up. Spend a lot of time on the phone. Um, Bubba Gum says my picture has a foxy plush in it. Does that mean it's going to get into the gallery? I'm not a hundred percent sure. Actually, Zed. 29 if the plush ones got in the most of them were hand drawn um and it was a fan it was a, i don't want to spoil it because it, it was it it was all about artist impressions of foxy but there was a couple of slip by rather than a photo of a pre-made toy but um i will have to go back i can't, I can't remember i did it a little while ago so um where where do you guys think you would be if Five Nights at Freddy's didn't exist? That's another good question from the same person. Fun time the Twister dies. Um, in terms of YouTube, I, or... I kind of guess that's what they're referring to. Yeah, I mean, it would probably uh, would just be doing other horrors, and uh, the reason why FNAF kind of clicked with us was because we um, we do a lot of horror stuff. Well, we were doing a lot of horror stuff, just general horror. And then a lot of people were requesting FNAF, so we looked into it and went, oh, actually, this is really cool. And we decided to do FNAF. And it was just then the lore of it all and the whole kind of history of it was kind of like, yeah, actually, there's a lot here that we can do. So we've kind of stuck with that at the moment. And um, I think if we weren't, well, if we weren't doing FNAF, we'd, just, we'd be doing some some other horror thing. Well, we did. I mean, we had um, we had the uh, the lady, uh, yeah, the lollipop lady killer. One we did, yep. um, and we had the great spear. One we did, um, 
we also did the Bloody Mary thing. That was that was a bit bit tongue in cheek and a bit of a sketch, but it was oh, yeah, you yeah. know that was that Got one. Got the clown one. Got the clown one, um, and also the um, the rake. Oh yeah, type one. So we have always been doing horror type stuff. It was as Peter said that it sort of just resonated with us. The whole idea of, of the thing we thought, well, how do we make it scary? And oh, it was already scary, but how do we make that a screenplay? And um, go get a bloody good shot. I think there's a there's a definite divide now, isn't there, with FNAF? It's a bit it's a bit strange in that what you've got you've got these sort of like people that love. The sort of the sort of um, romantic side. Oh, oh, hold on. Songs Bomb Jazzy says, guys, I'm recording for the fan page. Please, can you say hi? Oh, hello. Hello. I don't know what was the fan page? We, uh, she has. She set up a, oh, a, a, a fan page for us. Um, so yeah, um, there's this this is weird divide now, isn't it? Because you've got the whole kind of fun side of FNAF with people creating these romantic kind of. Um, Situations between some of the characters and stuff, and then you've got the more sort of darker original original side to it with the sort of like which was what is kind of meant to be more of a horror, which we prefer. Yeah, I, I think um, the, the the characters, also, well, certainly the um, the premise of Five Nights at Freddy's as it stands, the original game. Yeah, um, that in itself has got so many avenues you could take take that yeah. I mean there was, we, we, did, we did a version with our Five Nights at Freddy's movie uh, where we kept him in the Fazbear Pizza yeah. like the game did but you couldn't yeah. there's so much stuff you, and the characters are so great as well and you got I mean even we've been talking about you know how you perceive Freddy to be and how you'd perceive Chica to be in acting in character and then what they would be like in real life yeah. so um, and we have to follow our, our community page and also our Facebook page because that also appears that will feature our real life uh, our real FNAF pictures where we have Freddy, Chica, Foxy, Bonnie and new ones to come as well actually uh, out in real life engaging with gyms and monuments and London life um, uh, no, there was uh, next time can you do a half of the good side of Chucky and the bad side of Chucky oh please remember that one um, Lewis because that that would that be a wicked suggestion has, um, the next one wouldn't it yeah I don't know Chucky had a uh, does he good have side. a good one I guess he does um, right okay oh what's that one um, mirror that Okay, the guys who are making suggestions still, um, we have Clicker, V for Vedetta, Rockstar Bonnie, The Joker and The Ghost, and they are the five which you can vote for on our community tab. If you want to get access to our community tab, click the I above, and that will take you to our community tab page, and that's where you can vote, but not yet, because the vote isn't open. Um, I tell you, the, the comments were, really thick and fast I'm surprised I, I can actually keep up with anyone got an idea for the 100,000 subs could you do a merchandise giveaway and to win we can all send in videos to you guys that's a nice idea actually Songs Bomb Jazzy don't know what we're going to do for the 100,000 uh, subs just yet um, but if it would be good to do some sort of the problem giveaway. with giveaways yeah, is sending them yeah that's and we've, this have. is the problem. We, we've had giveaways in the past, and some people get them, some people don't. And it's it's the whole idea that the postal systems and what's in the parcel and all the rest of it. So it does start to prove to be oh, it is doing it. awkward. Uh, did you hear about Scott sending off FNAF to a or selling off FNAF to a big game developer, and that we might be seeing FNAF coming out on a console? No, we didn't no. hear that. Didn't like that. Um, I hope he gets lots of money for it because um, I think he probably he deserves really, it. I think he'd already got quite a lot of money. Uh, are you doing Family Fortunes today? G Vlogs two hundred. Yes, we are. We're doing Family Fortunes or Family Feuds, depending however you've adopted the program. In ten minutes time. Um, da -da -da -da. Please, in the next video, can you make a Twisted Freddy? And that was Springy PL. Well, we've done... Did we not do, do Twisted Freddy? No, we've done Twisted, Twisted Wolf, the wolf one. Oh, and we've Twisted. done Twisted Bonnie. But we haven't done Twisted Freddy. We haven't done Twisted Freddy, right. 
Um, Shadow Savages, I love... Oh, yeah, be careful of your caps, caps locks. Caps locks will get you um, your comments uh, deleted by Rebecca. But it actually said, I love FNAF. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, Peter Woods says, did you know that Springtrap in FNAF 6 is more broken than in FNAF 3? Which one are you modelling on? Um, the FNAF 3 is the one I'm modelling on, but uh, yeah, I didn't know that. I haven't actually checked out FNAF 6 yet, probably. I need to look into it more. I'm just sort of bringing these are like the joints and bring them in a little bit closer. Ah. Oh, I've got, yeah, I've got a bad knee today. Ah. Falling apart. Yeah, I am falling apart. <laughs> a bit like one of the animatronics from FNAF. Nope, nope, don't want to do that. So yeah, I'm just sort of adding all these panels to her, so she's sort of, well, like she's in the in the game. She's made up of lots of little panels. I always find it quite interesting with FNAF the timeline because there is this kind of like when was sister location, and it is a little bit confusing because they are a lot more advanced, the animatronics in sister location than they are in like the original game, but it's sort of I think it's meant to be set around about the same time, but then that. Is where I find it really confusing because why are they so much more advanced? So I'm wondering if Scott Cawthorn will ever explain the reason for that, or if he knows himself. I do wonder sometimes if he's just going along with stuff and just making it up as he goes along. So that's going to be kind of that part of her. Um, and now I'll do the same thing with the bottom part of her face. So if I remove that now, I should just leave the panels. Actually, I got yeah. I was gonna say, did you separate do them as separate models? Yeah. Rather than extruding them and yeah, you done it okay. I think it's worked. Or like separate layers rather than yeah. Just tighten up a little bit. That's a. That's a, a, a yeah, that that was cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Need <laughs> tidying up, but what were you gonna say? I can't. Um, right. Uh, also, Bendy is coming to Xbox One. Right. Okay. Real Fighter. Thank you for joining us. Um, uh, G Vlogs Two Hundred. I got COD World War Two yesterday. Cool. Yeah. I I I was actually tempted to get um, COD or I asked for COD for Christmas. I got. Um, oh, I went in the end for Battlefront. No, start with the Star Wars. I think you can say I asked for cod for Christmas and I got fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was a gypsy. No, I ended up airing on, on the, the Star Wars one about Battlefront, which was really good. I've actually enjoyed playing that. Um, and the second one is better than the first. Uh, da, 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 da. Twin Moans, M O N E S. I like doing stop motion on FNAF. If you. Are you, do you publish these videos or this, this stop? I love stop motion. In fact, that was one of the first things we ever did together, wasn't it? The yeah. Stop motion thing. Um, yeah, I, I, I enjoy stop motion. I think it's a, it's a dying art, and um, uh, it would be great to, to, to see some of it. If you've got a video you can send into the gallery, email us, bubblegummonsters at gmail.com, and put gallery in the subject line. Uh, on that note, the guys of you who are asking for shout-outs, when the next gallery is posted, which will be very soon, um, mention, ask for a shout-out then, because what we do then is we take those names, we'll ask for a shout-out on our gallery comments, and we'll do it on the next gallery as a shout-out. We've got eight new names on our next shout-out list, and one uh, regular. Okay. So we've got some new names to shout-out. Which is always good fun, um, and actually, Craven Skate hashtag real FNAF guys. Those of you who are commenting back on our videos with hashtag real FNAF, please spread the word. You're doing a fantastic job, and it, it really makes. I I get up quite early in the morning, and I sit on the train to go into London, and I go through our comments. And this new and that, to see hashtag yeah, real yeah. FNAF is it really does blow me away. I think that's the guys that you bought into this is it's brilliant, and we really appreciate your support. Um, oh god, I, I, I couldn't even say that name, but he's got to go, and he says goodbye. 
goodbye to those guys. Um, Daniel Smith, who are you? Well, I'm me, and you're you, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I'm Peter, you're Stuart. Yes, that's it. And it's, uh, yeah, Bubblegum Monsters. We are. And you guys are the Bubble Gummies. Yeah. We've got a Facebook page, and we've got a Facebook group, which was asked if we could set up a Facebook group where the Bubble Gummies can actually chat amongst themselves and get to know each other. Because a lot of people in the rooms now, I mean, I, I, I see in the comments... People go, oh, how are you, so and so, and and uh, oh, so and so, and so, and so. Oh, really? That's and cool. they're all chatting amongst, and they remember what what conversations they've had. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And we are a community, and it's what we we've been desperate to 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 actually encourage, and that's have a community feel to it. So, you guys doing a great job, doing a fantastic job. If you can have other routes to be able to connect with each other, see each other's channels, share ideas. So and that's how, you know, we, we, we've been doing things yeah. on YouTube. We, we, we share our ideas with other, other channels. We've worked with other channels. Um, and that's the, the only way you, you guys are going to grow is that you can actually collaborate with each other and chat to each other and learn from each other. Um, Dan, Diamond and Dinosaur, just ask Scott. I haven't got a reply yet. Thank you very much. Um, we wait on your reply. That's quite exciting. Uh, Dead Treks YT official. Do you guys have Snapchat? Uh, I think I have got it, but I've never, I've never used it. No, I, I, I haven't got Snapchat, and the channel hasn't got Snapchat. Um, Rebecca is busy enough with our Facebook, our Twitter, um, and various other things as well. I, I, I think she was trying to set up a, she's trying to set up a Discord server for us as well, oh. wasn't she? So. Um, Rebecca, we what would we do without you? And I don't really want to burden you now with Snapchat as well. So we're we're, we're doing one at a time. We're we're, we're we're growing slowly. But yeah, we have Twitter. We have uh, Facebook. Clear. Oh, do you know what? It's the second time I pulled that one out. That's clever. Yeah. Of all those cards, and I pulled it out a second time, and we can't use that one. Um. LPS Shadow Fox 27 yes that's how I met Celeste from YouTube how did you meet Celeste from YouTube was it through us that'd be great if it was um, Ronald Reigns can I have a shout out uh, you're better off asking for a shout out in the comments section of our gallery especially on the next gallery when it's released it would is just sitting there in the background after we decide what we're going to do with our 100,000 votes uh, uh, subscribers yes yes met her on YouTube it's lovely there you go so it just goes to prove that you guys can actually um, yep. become friends through YouTube, which is great. Uh, Rebecca Pearson says, at Bubba what says, no to snap Snapchat. No to Snapchat. No to Snapchat. I can't say it. Can <laughs> you uh, really not say it? I, I kept saying Snapchat. I can't. Uh, for some reason, I can't say Snapchat. I was doing a little thing. <laughs> yeah. I had to really work really hard. Say Snapchat. Okay, what we should have is challenge Stuart. Challenge Stuart to speak English. <laughs> while holding a lollipop stick. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, in fact, most people probably don't know that Stuart has a really weird. It's not an allergy. Oh, no, it's, it's nearly. <laughs> I can't believe you have like that. Um, what's it called? A phobia. Yeah. So, most people have phobias of spiders. Yeah. Some people balloons, actually, another one, isn't it? Balloons, balloons. yeah. Bats, mm -hmm. snakes. Yeah, I don't have snakes really, though, actually. No, but I bet you probably hold a snake. If you had like, yeah, I have a house snake. Yeah, but, uh, I just don't like them really. No, um, but then but most people don't have a phobia <laughs> of lollipop sticks. It's perfectly normal. And um, we have had this conversation before, and people were saying, "Oh yeah, yeah, but like, we're, yeah." Not probably so many more people now need to know this. <laughs> yeah, it was only forty-four, fortunately. What? Right. Wow. Oh, anyway, dear. so Stuart's got a phobia of a lollipop or of any. Well, it's not just lollipop sticks; is it? it's anything. So even those coffee stirs. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, I think it's quite funny. Um, Songs bomb jazzy caps when which is which is yeah sorry caps Rebecca yeah she's um. But she put lollipop sticks in uh, capital letters, as in lollipop sticks in shark horror. Yeah, I, I got yeah. a real horrible. I was trying to get better at some point. It's not necessary. It's not necessary to lollipop sticks. Hang on, carry on. Let's just just carry on. I've just got to go for the okay. screen on this. Okay, it's not. It's quite strange. Yeah, but it's... no, 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 no. Oh, no, oh, god, dear. Calm me down. 
Oh. Ja, ich weiß, 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 ich But then what's Ugh. so weird about that phobia, right? Is so like, if, if I had a phobia, well, I haven't really got a phobia of spiders, but Ugh. like, do people act like that with, like, if they're talking about spiders? They don't, do they? Like, if they've got a phobia of spiders, they don't start. No, it's a sensation. Oh, I've dried up. Now my mouth's dried up, but it's really horrible. Oh, dear. Anyway. Oh, God. Oh, dear. So, yeah, so what I was going to say was, wouldn't it be funny? To do challenge to say stuff while well, <laughs> oh, oh, I would better say it. I'm just going. <laughs> no, I can do it. Oh. Oh. But yeah, so yeah. Auntie yeah. Celeste goes, ah, oh, pop or Stuart. Pop says it with a spoon. What? <laughs> I can't read it. You can read it. Dude, I'm sweating now. I'm actually sweating. My back's gone up. All my hairs are better gone. Stuart, maybe for 100k you should do a skit where you accidentally turn into a lollipop. your logo into a living, breathing creature and it attacks the city in real life. Oh no, chat's been disconnected. Please wait while we try oh, to reconnect doing you. Let's do that thing again. It seems to always do that after a certain amount of time, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, oh, the chat's coming back in. I, I have to ask the question on here. I, I'll sign into chat. No, I can't even... As it all froze up again. Yeah, are we are we still live, Rebecca? Are we still live, Rebecca? Anyway, uh, where did that phobia come from, Mark Corn? Um, in all honesty. It was it was only past six. <laughs> yeah. I wish uh, it was wooden spoons. But no, it was wooden spoons with the thing. But oh, even when I was a child, I had to wrap the lollipop paper around the lollipop stick. Otherwise, I wouldn't eat it. it, it I, I, for some reason, it, so I've had it since childhood. I can't. Oh, really? It's the physical feel of the wood. It's, I was going to say. Because I tried to get you that time, didn't I? When you were wearing that funny green gimp suit. Oh, thing. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and it didn't work because you were wearing that. But... Uh, I will get you at some point. Because um, I'm nice. Let's let's come in with a question. Yeah, okay, yeah. so yeah. this this is our. Um, I'm very impressed, by the way. It keeps every time I look up, and it's just changed. Yeah, it's it's, 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 it's get, getting there. But once we've got the um, eyelashes and the eyebrows, and it'll start looking a bit more like her, I think. But it is a really difficult character to model, as in yeah. cause everything seems to be stuck on. It's always yeah, you know, yeah. the other ones are sort of moulded, aren't they? Yeah. Um, okay, let's let's do our family fortunes, family fo feuds questions. So, it's the first answer, first correct answer, which is the top answer in this card, which we accept, and it is name a word for someone who is looking really good. No, no, beg your pardon. Name a word for someone who's really good looking. There you go. Name the, a word for someone who's really good looking. So that's. Um, uh, da, da, da. I remember you guys channels only at a thousand yeah Mark Corn a thousand cool. subs yeah I think I've sure wow, seen been it through. Yeah, you've been there a long yeah. time um, I really love that Springtrap mask have it purple man have it purple man inside uh, yep yep he is do you not see his eyes there you go uh, please delete it. Uh, what was what was area where uh, X six time the most? Please it. Pretty G vlogs two hundred. Uh, G vlogs two hundred also says hot, which I will say G vlogs two hundred. Who used to be Stampy the Long Spider? Oh right, and that's it. Um, hot is actually. Uh, can you switch back to the main screen on that? Just very quickly, just to prove it, and it was definitely. Definitely the first answer. So hot. There you go. Hot is the top answer. So well done. Well done. Stampy yeah. the long spider. We'll have to you make a note of this because I don't want to forget it. Um, and I'll write down as well. Kian and. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got my work thing because yeah, they they they're going to add up otherwise. Uh, can I borrow a pen? Yeah. Oh, cheers. So congratulations anyway, G Vlogs. That's brilliant. So um, it was uh, 
Kane was what was Kane's one? Uh, uh, it was Mario. Uh, yeah, Mario. No, Bowser. No, Bowser. Bowser. Yeah. And uh, Sonic Bomb Jazzy was Uganda. Knuckles. Knuckles. Jazzy. Uh, Uganda Knuckles. Because obviously, once not only do you get your name on the banner, but we'll actually do a rendered screenshot for you, and we'll email it to you as well. So you get in the knuckles and G vlogs, two hundred. Stampy long spider. I think it, I'm sure it was Stampy long spider. Um, and this that's going to be. Um, it's going to get a lot of browsing. So there we go. So as as they appear on our banner, we'll put your names underneath them. Uh, EDP everything real life. Oh sorry, real FNAF, not real life. Uh, real FNAF, yes, thank you very much for the hashtag. Um, G Vlogs 200, what happens if I win? What you do is you get your name on our banner when the model appears on the banner. And uh, when uh, Peter does a rendered screenshot, we'll sign it and email it to you. So I'm just making that eyebrow. Digital quickly. copy. Uh, bye bye, Z29. Um, Good old Jed. I don't think I have email, gvlogs200. You need to log into an account with YouTube so you would have some form of email. So if you have your YouTube account, you would have some form of email. So just refer back to that. Uh, Sister Sinister Bonnie Productions. I remember that they've been in and out of our chats in the, in the, in the past. What, what are we doing there? Um, I was just doing her eyebrows. To join the Bubblegum is Play Minecraft Discord server. Click this link. Oh, cool. Do you know what? I've never played Minecraft. I went around my cousins just saying they were playing it, and I've never. I don't even know how it works. Like, it just is it just? It's kind of like Lego, isn't it? Basically, but I don't know anything about it. Anti Celeste hashtag Real Life. Yes. Um. LPS Jazzy. Says Songs Bomb Jazzy. Uh, did you just forget to actually? Yes, I was actually. Have gonna, words coming yeah, out of my mouth. Yeah, I did. Then. Yeah, it, it, it does happen. Um, Quite often. Do I have to tell you my email address? Um, G Vlogs two hundred. It won't. Peter's got a backlog. You can see how far we've got with Ballora, and he's got uh, Bowser to finish. He's got um, Uganda Knuckles to finish. So. As you, I know you're a regular to our live stream, so when we get closer to it, we can then ask you for your email address and we can sort something out. So don't worry for the moment. We have a, a backlog, we have a queue. Dead, ga Dead Gaming 2.5. Hey Stuart, is that a Chica poster from the Joy of Creation? Yes, it's actually it the is. very the very poster that was in the film, wasn't it? The actual one. And actually, it's the actual poster from the game. In that, we got it yeah. from the creators. Yeah, Nick, is it Nick? Nick, oh, come on, it's Nixon. No, Nixon. Nixon. It is Nixon, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. And he sent us the 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 original image. Diamond the dinosaur DTD. What is your email address? Our email address is bubblegummonsters at gmail.com. But we do get an awful lot of spam, so our spam filters are very highly tuned. Um, and it's only through uh, either putting gallery in the subject line and it has to be gallery related, although we don't get read. Uh, anything for any other sort of contact just you'll have to bear with us because we get hundreds and hundreds of emails every day uh, da, 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 da. that is one big eyebrow um, okay will my mum get mad G vlogs 200 no I think the safest bet there G vlogs is just wait until your character appears on the banner with your name under it and then you can actually show your mum and say they can email me a picture of this and it's up to your mum then. And we can have your mum's email address and send it via that way. So, but don't worry about it. You've got weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks to wait. Um, uh, LPS Jazzy says, can you create my character on my channel? 
It's an animal called chocolate. Um, actually, I know that Peter as well he feel, uh, feels the same about this. It, he would love to do. We we have done some characters for some other cha channels. We've done their logo a little bit, haven't we? And, yeah. and the rest of it. Um, and if time permits, we'd love to do so. But at the moment, everything is up in the air. Because I mean, this is probably one of your busiest periods you've had for a yeah. little while, isn't it? And yeah. it, it's it's crazy it crazy is crazy busy. work silly hours oh, Peter works three in the morning two, three in the morning yeah every night so um but yes uh it, it's always something we could do in the future right so did you know that you forgot to print mario and tattletail um we d yeah you're right it was that that was um yeah in, in the beginning we didn't have a printer at that point though no. so it was only the new characters which were coming through but we could always go back and do you know what I want to get I want to get I've said this to you um, but we, we sort of looked at it and I think it would be really cool but they do printers that can print up to half a metre so you can literally print a full size mask in one go and I think it would be really cool to buy one of those printers and over the next sort of six months literally print up a full FNAF character like an actual real FNAF character that would be quite cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah. But what, what, the thing is, you've got to be about colours. You'd have to do it, so you don't have to paint him, perhaps. Yeah, that's right, though. You can yeah. paint him, can't you? Actually, um, that was, that's a subject. I'll get on to it. P. Fulcrum Q. Uh, Stuart, I want to buy a T-shirt. Can you please give me the link? Uh, Rebecca's sent the link there. Thank you very much, Rebecca. You can also click on the I after this video is uploaded and there's links everywhere. There's links on our videos as well. There's links in our description below. Um, Ronald Reigns hello yes no you asked for a shout out earlier what I said was if you do it on the gallery in the comments section on our gallery now I wouldn't do it on the old gallery because that one's been pretty much exhausted but the new galaxy gallery which will be released soon and is a homage to F Foxy from FNAF um, asked one in the comments Thomas Freight's in the room Me. hello Thomas um, did you guys see Scott Games did we see Scott Games? Scott Games, yeah. As in what he's released, I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything recently. Why has he released not, something? Not recently, Neil. Um, Although someone was saying that just earlier about the fact that he's, I don't know, if he's sold the rights for now, or he's, it's coming to Xbox and stuff. So I don't know if that's what Thomas is talking about. Maybe. Just note the time as well, because we, we're getting close to the end of our street. We, oh, know we are, yeah. Yeah. Just, I'd, I'd just very, very, very quickly um, accept that. I'm just trying to work out what that was well, going to be. Is that the nose? No, yeah. it's meant to be a teeth, but... Oh, I see. Yes, 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 yes. I was just going to yeah. quickly sort of shove some teeth in there just to give her a bit more of a fierce, scary look rather than this happy kind of face look oh yes Thomas Freight I did I did I did I did um, new it's, a, it's a new custom night with 40 animatronics so it's actually a, a customised fine night at Freddy's I believe oh, I right. saw I saw the grip patterns on, on some of the, the Twitter feeds and they said oh about this, this is the new oh, okay. so and Facebook and that so yeah but I haven't researched it any further than that only that I, I have, do remember seeing the grid with the, the 40 characters um Oh, empty boxes at that time. Uh, if I send a photo of my FNAF art on the gallery, would I be on the Bubgum Gallery video? We have actually an extraordinary amount of um, gallery entries. And every one of them gets put in the folder to be submitted onto the gallery. Right. But because we've had so many, what I've been doing lately is trying to mix it up a bit. So the regulars contributors maybe get a little bit of a less of a and some of the newer people can get a chance but also as well i've been making them themed yes you have yeah. so i had a um the the last gallery was all just about five nights at freddy's um but this gallery is themed just on um uh, uh foxy but i've also got lots of pictures now on godzilla and stuff like that I thought that might be quite cool to do a Godzilla gallery 
um, or even just the types of things. So I, I get a load of photos sometimes. Uh, I get a load of uh, computer drawn art, digital art. But right. I really like the pencil drawn art as well. So I'm thinking like we can, I can, it can all be mixed up and themed up. But once your entry is submitted, that's bubblegummonsters at gmail.com with gallery, and that's the important bit, gallery in the subject line. It goes into my little folder where it stays there nice and safe mm-hmm. until it can feature on a future gallery. Um, da, 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 it's got game shows that there's a new custom light that's coming to FNAF 6. It's going to include lots of animatronics we all know and love. Yep, uh, Rebecca, how can I adjust? Oh, no, that's brilliant. Um, uh, who we got coming through? Uh, Dead Trex official bubblegum monster. Please answer this. What is my life? Um, I'm hopefully it's a happy one. <laughs> um, switchboard. I am probably the one responsible for the Godzilla drawings. Love it loud. Yes, and a another. And uh, there was another who's quite um, into the uh, Godzilla drawings. Um, hey guys, guess what I have? Dark side clips. I mean, I have exotic butters. Guess who's asking that? Celeste. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we still got. To, we still got to do something with Celeste. Well, yeah, it's just getting the time though, yeah. isn't it, at the moment. Um, right, hang on. Let me just. I know what you're going to say. No, no, I was going to say... Uh, oh, right. Uh, what? No, I thought you were going to say, oh, right, we've got to wrap up. Just, yeah, we'll just, just mirror, mirror the teeth. No, what I was also going to say is, at the moment, I know you're snowed under, um, but I think, Celeste, if we can give it two or three weeks, maybe we can sit down, we'll have a Skype, we'll have a chat, and then see if we can put something together. Um, I'm thinking about taking some time off work as well, so me and Pete can spend more time together. And do some of the stuff we've got planned. So that would be where it would be. So just bear with us. Uh, Purple Guys William Afton. Did you know that? Yes. Mm, Of course. Who doesn't? Um, I actually have a drawing channel that is linked on my normal channel switchboard. That's Scribby Draws. Scribby Draws. There you go. Yeah. Um, I don't know what um, switchboard is. Is it? Is it? platform as a website or something uh, Peter Wood why do you think the characters in the later games are not as scary as the ones in the older games this is right up Peter Street oh yeah it is actually um, so in the well I think because they've tried to make them too scary I think like with the well the FNAF 2 I don't think it was scary because it was more toys. I was going to say, should we switch to a oh, yeah, thing yeah. and then we, we can ask so, yeah, that one? Not, yeah. Yeah, so we've still got to do her ears and her cheeks and, and sort it all out. But anyway, that's kind of where we're at at the moment. doesn't quite look like her yet. I'm just, I think her face, so. yeah, face is a bit longer. I think we'd have to adjust all that. But anyway, let's go back to that. So, yeah, to answer that question, um, I think FNAF 2 was like more shiny toys and it wasn't that scary. Sister location again, same sort of thing. Although sister location kind of creepy, but the 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 thing that makes things creepy is when they have that kind of like still dead look, like a doll. And that the original animatronics had that because they kind of had that kind of like permanent green kind of thing. And then the newer ones, like the twisted ones and stuff, they just had all these teeth and it yeah. just doesn't. It's just too over the top. It doesn't really. It, it's almost like it doesn't even into your imagination. Whereas with the old classic one of just like these fixed grins it's a bit like ventriloquist dumb is always creepier than Chucky I think like Chucky is a bit over the top whereas when it's just this like kind of almost like a nice looking thing but it's not I think that's what happened with Scott Cawthorn when he originally did his games he was doing religious sort of Christ- Christianity type games oh, right. and they had these like permanent grins on their faces and then people were like your characters are really creepy so um you mean, right, then I'm just going to make a horror then instead. <laughs> and that's how it FNAF came about. Ah. So, yeah, that's kind of what I think, anyway. I think they've gone a bit over the top now with the whole kind of trying to make him look scary. And he's kind of lost the plot a little bit. Oh, OK. Rusty Rocket was, that was the first one, wasn't it? Yeah, did Batman. Batman. Yeah, yeah. He's saying the name's still up there. Yeah, it's because we haven't done the other ones yeah, yet. <laughs> so, so, actually, yeah, you've, you've had uh, the privilege of being up there for a few weeks. Yeah. No, his uh, G-Vlogs is saying, you know... Oh, saying, I see. Saying, but you'll get your chance. Well, we'll do it. But we have to get through one thing at a time. 
Otherwise, what we do is we just cancel the whole idea of it, and then no one gets it. Yeah. So just just yeah. bear with us. Um. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. So what we got? The trick to make things scary is not to give them sharp teeth or claws. Yeah, because what I was going to say was thought the sort yeah. of following that chain of thought was um, sometimes the more actually horrific something looks. The less your mind can sort of always process it, so it's not scary. It's when well, it's, it's, like, it's subtle. When off. You think so what's with that? horror, and this is why the monster. Whenever you show the monster in a horror film, it immediately then isn't scary because your brain's like, oh, I can see it now. Yeah, you, you just it's that fear of your imagination of adding in all the bits, which is why reading a book is always better than watching a film because your imagination is so much more superior to anything that someone else can feed to you in, in images because your head's got your own fears kind of thing but um, the thing with uh, I can't remember what I was going to say now about the, the claws and stuff it's just it's true like you just you want something that's just slightly off like movement as well like when you see I don't know I don't know if a lot of these guys have seen stuff like The Exorcist and stuff or The Ring yeah, yeah. but when something like a human just moves in a funny way which I, is, I think is a fundamental fear that we have of things that don't move right so when we see a spider it freaks us out because it's it's the way it moves compared to mammals is completely different and so it freaks it freaks our brain out which is like oh, i don't like that at all and it's a bit like these cre- creepy dolls that you get where they move and they talk but mm. because they haven't got the muscle system that a human has got and it's the uncanny valley which if you look it up uncanny valley is basically robotics if you do something that looks hu- too human but still has all the small little micro motions missing, it's creepy. Um, and so you, that's with these dolls, and they have these things. It looks realistic until it starts moving a bit, and then its eyes are all a little bit like, and it's like, ugh, freaks you out. So that's um, that's why that they they need to do that more in the FNAF again. They need to go back to that kind of creepiness of it all. But anyway. Um, I just this is uh, there was a, there was a couple of comments on there. And I was thinking I'm going to remember them because I want to tell you. And, 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 and you forgot. Yeah, well, yeah, they just that sort of thing. Um, but right, um, uh, can you make a YouTube channel playing games, Ronald Reigns? We're not really that much of gamers. I mean, I've bought two Xbox games. Well, they were bought for me in two years. It would be. Co- I mean, the thing is, you never know. You never say never. It's just. That- at the moment, because we do uh, full-time work as well, the, our, this channel in itself takes up enough time. There's just no way we could play it. I literally don't have time to play games. And I have just bought one of those Vive headsets. Oh, yeah. I'm really looking forward to seeing I know. This. But the reason why I bought it was nothing to do with games. It's actually to do with motion capture. Hmm. But um, I thought, well, seeing as I've got this virtual reality £600 headset now, <laughs> I might as well actually use it for what it's for. So maybe we'll do something like that. I don't know. Oh, uh, I won't mention it here because it, it, just in case we'll introduce it at something, I don't want to spoil any other ideas which might occur. But remind me about um, uh, oh, using just... things for what they're designed for. Oh, right. I guess you just teased I just teased, yeah. Could, no, you could, you never know. You never know with us. It, it could come up and, and uh, bite you on the bottom. Um, right, Peter Stewart, do you remember? Sis, Sinister Bonnie Productions. Yes, we do. We do. When I, oh, I did yeah. say hello to you when you entered the room. Uh, uh, thank you very much for joining us again. Um, Scott might be getting a VR title out. I don't know. Yeah, I, think I think it would be good to do an augmented reality one. So you mm. turn your own room into Five Nights at Freddy's office, and when you look, the doors, stuff can come out. Can you make Nightmare Foxy? Um, Didn't you do? Yeah, the, 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 we've got the wolf. We've got Twisted Wolf. Yeah. Um, but this, yeah, Nightmare Fox we haven't done. Uh, there's just so many. In fact, we could just spend the next year making that <laughs> yeah. characters. Really, yeah, be great. I don't know how many characters there are actually. Now there must be about. There's got to be at least thirty of them. Or something. I don't know. Uh, the only rebel gamer, yeah, we have. I think we're, we're well into our thirties on characters. No, I mean FNAF, like FNAF. Oh, FNAF, no, so, oh, no, there's, there's, um, I think over forty characters. Oh, is it? Mm. Um, where, where's that? No, it was, that was a really good. Yeah, hey, great job on the Joy of Creation movie you did with Iron Horse Cinema. That's the only rebel gamer. Oh yeah, thank um, you. Might be doing another one of them as well. Not maybe not with Iron Horse, we don't know yet, yeah. but we might be doing another part to that because it seems to have quite a lot of. Um, Laughed in it. A lot of people wanted to see some of the other sort of um, parts to the game. Uh, 
just to set up with yeah so g vlogs 200 don't worry about your email address we will sort it out for you yes you don't publish it in the comment section here please because yes we don't want you other people to know it um, what we'll do is we will contact you in some manner because there are methods through YouTube that we can contact you on and it might come through to your mother's email address or something similar but Peter what do you reckon six weeks well, to get these, uh, uh, twelve weeks? No, it won't be that long. <laughs> it's, but it, it's, it will be. It will be at least another couple of weeks. A good, uh, definitely a good couple of weeks. Yeah. We've got three already on on the go. So, yeah. G vlogs, don't panic. It's coming. When the name's up there on the banner, then we can talk about getting the thing. Mind you, you still haven't done the Batman one of the. Have you, it's like that in Dropbox for me. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Not yet. So that's Rusty Rocket. But you haven't, so, well, you haven't got. Oh, the image. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 So that that's. Yeah. So you can see that it's a little bit of a backlog. Paul Pete is working till three in the morning to get some of these things yeah. finished. So, don't worry. Bear with us. Um, Ronald Reigns is stop motion. He loves stop motion. Uh, we'll be spoken about that as well. KG Master, remember the email character, the creepy robot with the purple quad quote. Uh, what do you think of the design of him? I'm going to put it to the film. He's sent us a design of a character. Um, for oh, his film uh, KG Master oh cool yeah because so, yeah, KG uh, Master does a lot of films he does uh, Carl Gassman is his name and he regularly contributed to our gallery as well uh, I, I tell you what Rebecca's got this well under control um, I, the bubblegum monster I can forward uh, his email to you exactly so Rebecca can sort this out I think 20 past 7 are you going to call it a day? Okay. Yep. So, Thanks till next again. time. Yeah, so we'll, next Monday we'll be doing whatever the vote. Yeah, the vote. The we'll, vote will be open will be, um, very soon. Uh, Bonnie, won't it? <laughs> you reckon it'll be Rockstar Bonnie? Rockstar Bonnie. Surprise um, me, guys. Let's see if we can be something other than Rockstar Bonnie. And also we'll be releasing over the next few weeks more FNAF short stuff as well. Yep. Um, well, possibly Let's, one for Easter as well. Yeah, we got we got yeah. we got stuff definitely lined up. Yeah, yeah. All right then. Until Cheers, then. guys. Shut up. Bye. Bye. The vote for the next live making a bubblegum monster is now open. Our next live making a bubblegum monster will be on the twenty sixth of February at six pm GMT. Remember to check out the community tab where you get the latest news and where you can also cast your votes for the making of a bubblegum monster or the bubblegum gallery. If you enjoy our channel and you want to become a bubble gummy, remember, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified of our community posts and our new releases, click the notification bell. Thanks bubble gummies and we look forward to catching up with you next week.